The 32 Paths of Wisdom. The 32 Paths of Wisdom are depicted on the Kabbalistic Tree of Life as 10 circles called Sephirots and 22 connecting paths. In the Sefer Yitzira, the 10 emanations of God consist of the Spirit of God, the primordial elements, air, water, and fire, and different combinations of the three unique letters in the Hashem are associated with the letters Yad, He, and Vav, which were used to seal the universe in six directions, north, south, east, west, above, and below. The Mishnic Tractate Perky Avit 5.1 states, With ten utterances, the world was created, which refers to the ten times in the first chapter of the book of Genesis, the words, God said, appeared in the relation to creation. The Mishnah is the oral tradition of the Jews, which was put into writing following the destruction of the second temple in order to prevent that knowledge from being lost. In the Pardes Ramonium, Mosh Cordovero wrote, This wisdom, the wisdom of the Kabbalah, calls them in the language of the Pardes. Pardes means He, Rish, Dalit, Semek. This is a Hebrew acronym for the words Peshat, meaning surface, Remez, meaning hence, Darash, meaning inquire, Sad, meaning secret, and describes different levels of this interpretation of the scripture, implying that many verses include both a literal and allegorical meaning, as well as a need to compare verses and concepts to other verses in scripture in order to comprehend the deeper meanings. In addition to the open meaning, which is published for the world to read, there is also a secret meaning that was passed down by word of mouth or was contained within the mystical systems of Judaism. The Sefer Yitzira is ascribed to the patriarch Abraham, and it is said to have been transmitted through the sages through the oral tradition until finally being written down around the time of the Jewish exile. The Book of Formation, Sefer Yitzira, provides a mystical interpretation of the events that took place in the first chapter of the Book of Genesis, Bereshit, and the 32 paths of wisdom are derived out of the structure. In the first chapter of Genesis, the word Elohim, meaning God, appears 32 times Elohim appears ten times as the phrase, God said, appears seven times in the statement, God saw, and again three times as God made, in addition to, God said, God made, and God saw. The word Elohim appears twelve other times, providing the three, seven, ten, twelve, and thirty-two formula used in the Sefer Yitzira to represent the thirty-two paths of wisdom. The first word to appear in scripture with the geometrical value of 32 is the Hebrew word for heart, Lamed Bet, which is used in Genesis chapter 8 verse 21 to refer to God's own heart. The 32 most occult and wonderful paths of wisdom are an example of the Arcanum Sympientium Deum, meaning the secret wisdom of God, which were not written on tablets of stone. 2 Corinthians 3, 3, Proverbs 3, 3 through 6 but through the spirit of wisdom are written on the tablet of each individual's heart. The Kabbalah is a mystical system that allows those who engage in the chemical wedding to receive a greater understanding of theosophical concepts expressed in scripture through a process of spiritual discernment and mystical contemplation. 1 Corinthians 2.13 Wisdom 9.17 Each Hebrew letter has mystical associations connected to it which provide deeper and secret meanings so that only those who are inquire, seek a more profound understanding of the mysteries of God, are able to comprehend the analogies concealed beneath the surface. Pardes, every Hebrew letter contains a symbol meaning body, sound meaning spirit, and numerical value meaning soul, mind, and the calculation. The symbol provides a physical representation of the meaning or value contained within its spirit or ruach expressed through the breath. In Hebrew, gematria, the value of a letter or word is related to other words and concepts that contain the same value. The Sefer Yitzira makes use of similar root words or letters to express related mystical concepts. The Sefer Yitzira states, the universe was created through three derivatives, writing, meaning Sefer, numbers, Sephor, and speech, Sepur which includes the attributes contained in each Hebrew letter, symbol, sound, and numerical value. 
It uses the same root letters, Samat, Pei, and Rish, with different vowel sounds added to them to demonstrate the extent of content that can be included in the symbols. With only slight variations in pronunciations of different vowel sounds, it shows the oneness within the intention, symbol, and expression used to fulfill a unified purpose. The Book of Formation also contrasts Nun, Gimel, and Ayin, meaning affliction or plague, with Ayin, Nun, and Gimel, meaning delight and pleasure, to demonstrate the oneness of those concepts and how judgment and mercy loving kindness can be aspects of the same throne. Incorporating its value used in 1 Kings 2, 33, which is equal to the value of Ayin, Nun, and Gimel. The three unique letters in the Hashem, or four-letter name of God, were used to seal the universe in six directions, but the value of the letters Yad, He, and Vav, or 21, is also the equivalent of Ehi, Aleph, He, Yad, and He. The 21st letter in the Hebrew alphabet is Shin, which is used on the mezuzah, which is a doorpost, to represent El Shaddai, God Almighty. Both Shekinah, Divine Presence, and Shalom, Peace, also begin with the letter Shin. The Kabbalistic Tree of Life, as I have shown here, simply just pinch or zoom to get a better view, but this shows the concepts of good and evil, or known as pleasure and plague, depicted on the Sephirah of Geburah, Strength and Judgment, and Chesed, Mercy, Loving, Kindness, it also shows the location of the three mother letters, Aleph, Mem, and Shin. The Sefer Yitzira lists Aleph as air, as a balance between Mem, water, and Shin, fire, with the pillar of severity being associated with the baptism of fire and the pillar of mercy representing water baptism, or learning through symbolic contemplation. The image also shows the letter of the Tetragrammaton and its interaction between the four words of the Kabbalah at Zulith slash conception or Bria slash creation or Zira slash formation. The different combinations of the three unique letters of the Hashem are depicted on the image with Yisad, meaning foundation, representing the starting point and foundation stone. The Tumultic Midrash states that the Temple of Solomon where the dome of the rock now sits, was built on the same foundation stone that God used to create the world or universe. The foundation stone represents both the location from which the universe was created and the foundations of the world. God first created his celestial temple in the spiritual plane, and the earthly temple was then created exactly opposite of it in the physical plane of existence. The physical temple is a shadow of the heavenly temple, Hebrews 8.5. Likewise, the kingdom of the Messiah is not of this world, John 18, 36, because the kingdom of heaven is within it. Its foundation comes from faith, and the temple of the Ruach, Elohim, is within the individual, 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Before the universe was brought into manifestation, it first existed as an idea or concept within the logic or mind of God. The logic or idea represents the intent and value of the symbol of the words, or letters embodying this value, and the breath or spirit gives or adds life to the written symbols. It was through ten utterances composed of values, spirit, and symbolism that the universe was made. Prior to creation, the concepts that would be contained within the universe existed only as an idea within the will of God, which is expressed on the Kabbalistic tree of life with the Sephirah of Kether, meaning crown.